Yeah, this is Black Light talking about that willpower. That's a part of your body or your part of yourself. Let me put it like that a part of yourself that willpower can be developed. You know, willpower. And, uh, Like I say, you know, uh, you can have diseases and you can be hurt, shot. And the doctor will say, well, I done, done all I can do for him. But if he got the will to live, he'll live or she'll live. So. Your will <clears throat> is uh, in the sperm. Your willpower is in that sperm. And if you're listening to me, it has something to do with why you're listening to me now. Otherwise, uh, you might be on another vibration. But willpower interests you. So, <clears throat> but it's connected <clears throat> to so many different things, you know. And everyone wants to, uh, impose their will on the next person some kind of way but you gotta have a will of your own you can't use the next man's willpower for your own you got to have your own willpower you got to go your own way and to reach your peak you got to be strong Sometimes it ain't about right, it ain't about wrong. But it's about those that have a will of their own. They the ones that go down in history. Because most of them are unique. <clears throat> so we gonna, you know, wind this, uh, this down about willpower and gradually go into uh, mental conditioning and <clears throat> if you got a weak willpower your mentality can be manipulated You got to look at it like this. There were those who were brought over here doing uh, what they call the, the slave trade. But I say that those that brought us over here as prisoners of war, even though <clears throat> we were captured, that willpower that our ancestors had went from one generation to the other. <clears throat> That's why you got guys like me. Soul warriors. We we are soul warriors. You know. And these soul warriors was developed because physically we didn't have much wind physically 
but spiritually and mentally <clears throat> and soulfully the soul warriors came through generation to generation. Now one of those soul warriors was Elijah Muhammad. I was listening to uh, I was listening to Cyrus Sudan Seti Let me put this on pause. Yeah, we back. I uh, had to make an adjustment right quick, but I heard a Sarah Sudan Seti talking. He back over here in Detroit, Temple Number One. He don't. He don't. He must don't like a. Uh, Elijah Muhammad and you know uh, Farad, I don't know why, but he he mentioned all the scholars, Marcus Garvey. And he didn't say nothing about Nova Drew, Ali, and I guess because. He got the wrong misconception. Somebody put in his mind about Master Farad and uh, Elijah Muhammad. He said he mentioned Khalid. <clears throat> but Khalid, he done some studying up under the teachings of Elijah by way of Farrakhan, but the only one I put my uh, trust in is three, it's three, it's three of them that, that, that came from uh, the teachings of Master Farah Muhammad. Master, Master Farah Muhammad being one, uh, Elijah Muhammad the other, and Supreme Minister John Muhammad, the spiritual and blood brother of Elijah. And some from uh, his other brother, John Muhammad. Uh, this book right here, The Supreme Wisdom. Now, John Sutton uh, said he was uh, talking about geography. And I said, well, why did uh, Master Farad come to Detroit out of all the cities? And he came to Detroit, and that's where he, uh, Elijah Muhammad became a student. So I began to study a little bit about the history and the geography of Detroit way back a long time ago and i learned that uh, detroit from detroit you could go all over the world by water and detroit has the most fresh largest body of fresh water that on the planet just about the nile is 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 a is, is a long narrow uh body but uh, far as fresh water concerned, uh, the Great Lakes has the largest. Also, he was talking about minerals and study of that. Now, <clears throat> this book right here, The Supreme Wisdom, it has a study when you're in the FOI, exactly what uh, Saba Sudan said he was talking about, 
uh, you got to remember as uh, you got to remember as this before you could get in the uh, student enrollment. You got to get in to uh, uh, before you could get into the nation. You got to, uh, you know, get into uh, student enrollment. First, you got to memorize uh, actual facts, you know, and then student enrollment. Actual facts is the total area of the land and water of the planet Earth. Then it's got the circumference of the planet Earth, the diameter of the of the Earth, the areas of land, the areas of water, the uh, Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the lakes, the rivers, the hills, the mountains. I don't think he he knew about this, or he would have mentioned the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Mighty El Fawai. The islands, the deserts, the Mount Everest, the producing land, the earth weighs, weight, the earth is distance from miles from the sun, the earth travels at the rate of, the light travels at the rate of, sound travels, the, di the diameter of the sun, who is the original man? What is the population of the original man, of the original nation in the wilderness of North America? What is the population, I mean, what is the area in square miles of the planet Earth? You know, you got to memorize all these, all these questions and answers. And then you got to do the lost found Muslim lesson number one. And so I was surprised that uh, Tyra Sutton said he, the general, didn't mention uh, Elijah. I know he had a debate with uh, Brother Wesley Muhammad, and it could be some bitterness with the nation because they were coming against uh, the nation and so forth. And I don't think that myself that the nation ever done the, the, the black people, their own people wrong. I never think that they, they uh, done their people wrong, you know. Let's go to uh, the next video and close this one down to be continued. Black light out.